My name is Glenn Nunez, and my project is called Chiv, which means dreams in French. And basically, my project is a big music performance because it's very multidisciplinary. It has music, uh, animations, uh, uh, projection mapping, and a lot of lighting. I decided to mostly talk about my project in general. So we'll get to this in a second. The very first piece, um, since it's a music performance, there's going to be five different sets. Um, the first song is called Shadows, and essentially it's inspired by this dancing violinist called Lindsay Sterling, who, um, well, it's fine. Um, Sterling, she got very popular because she added dancing a lot of violence so that people did really think was like a thing, like conventional and whatnot. And this song is called Shadow because as you see here, she's manipulating the shadow to uh, dance independently on with her. Um, and so it's the same idea that I wanted to have for the first set where it's like the song Shadows, um, there's going to be a big set, and I'm going to be playing one dance with viola, and there's going to be shadows around. I also want to play around with um, space in that the first thing I'll, I'll work around with the projection mapping is that I want to get projectors to just like shine on the floor a big checkerboard effect. It's this big checkerboard floor. And this is an image from Katy uh, Kate Perry's Super Bowl performance of Dark Horse where the stage was all uh, we was all the checkerboards and what happens is there's some that are raised and some that are falling due to the uh, the way that the the image is projected on and the actors um, will react accordingly to it. So my idea for the uh, first performance is I will play this very energetic song and dance around and my shadows will go around with me and as like the checkerboards move around, we act accordingly. So that's the very first one. The second one, I want to go uh, not to do much with electronics and just play a very classical uh, piece. A lot of people, in the, a lot of uh, music colleges they have very classical pieces, a lot of duets happen, and I want to be with another musician and perform, another, uh, perform a song together that's very classical. I want the, uh, um, the projections and all the technology to be a little bit on the minimum side, just like really emphasis the classical music that um, along with being an interactive designer, I'm also a musician. Um, and the main point that I want to get across <coughs> sorry, for my show is nature and growth, um, because I try to add the virtual with the reality along with it, and it's just, um, this is an image that's representing more of like green scenery um, <clears throat> and uh, nature and stuff. If we continue, I got really great inspiration from these two photos. Um, the first one is uh, just like a, a really like odd shaped tree, um, while this other one is like a very uh, big set of a lot of trees. And my idea of a tree is essentially something that starts out so small and it takes a while to grow and it grows to something much bigger which is kind of like what I want to get across the audience. Of course there will be more steps to it but essentially my idea is that throughout my four years of college I started as a science major working my way to IMM adding music and it's just been like a very long and hard process just like a tree goes through a lot of trials uh, to become this very big and sturdy uh, uh, plant life. And so, you got some leaves on top of your head too. I'm exactly, just, gonna, I'm yes. just gonna make a notice there. <laughs> um, and an idea of a classical piece is something like this. John um, uh, It's not the song exactly because the partner that I ended up uh, performing with, we looked at this song. It's very difficult. We might be able to do it, but something around this ground. This is a very difficult song. It's actually nicknamed the Impossible. As we're playing, um, the background will switch from like greenery to, um, to like represent spring, go through orange hues to go to fall and stuff. There will be a little bit more projections on the trees that will be built. The trees will actually be, be built out of cardboard. I do want a full set with these big set pieces to just bring more life to the set, along with actually making roots that like quote unquote go up and in out of the stage and into the seats of the audience. So it's like a connection with the audience where it's like, I'm not just by the set, you're also connected with me with these roots that sprout in and out of the ground. So that's the second piece. The third piece um, will have a little bit more electronics to it. Uh, there's a program out there called Vocaloid. And Vocaloid is essentially a singing program. It's a synthesized uh, 
as a voice synthesizer, and companies that create this voice essentially they get singers or voice actors, uh, voice actors, and what they do is they record the person singing the notes, getting every single bit and piece of the language, because the vocal comes in five different languages, um, most popular English and Japanese, and with this. They then program it so that way, when you actually uh, go into the program and write out the notes, you can write out lyrics, and the computer will know exactly what words you want and will do its best to produce it. Um, this picture right here is a picture of uh, Miku Hatsune, and she's one of the most popular ones. Uh, she's very popular in Japanese, has a lot of concerts, has a good amount of commercials here in the US, um, and she's known as like, the post child, and that she's the one that started this revolution of, these, of this program having a face to it where it's like, it's not just this computer voice, there's a cartoon face to it, so that people can be able to like, uh, put a face to the voice in the program. Um, one, this is a way that the uh, program looks, is it playing, yes. Um, this is an example of how the interface looks. It's a very old video, so the, uh, the techniques are very outdated. This person is one of the best people out there making uh, vocal So these green blocks are actually the notes, and then inside are the words. Uh, some of these odd little letters, like let's say like A, capital I, capital I, N, is the uh, computer version of IPA, which is the International Phonetic Alphabet, which is supposed to map out every single sound in every single language, but in computer forms how we can read it. It's very complicated, it's very, it's very cool, but as you can hear, it's very robotic, not like it's human inch, but it's still like, has this one, like this effect. And then here's a more recent version from this person. Again, the, in, the language is still English. This is clearly a homemade video. <laughs> and they just have a screen on the PSP and it's reflecting just pretty beautifully out, actually. And now you have this little figure moving around. 
And during the showcase, I actually did make my own little makeshift one. This was not with glass, but it was with like a very uh, hatched paddling fishing net material. Although I can't find the projector that I used, I believe it was Return, or else I would have shown it. But this also gives like a, kind of the same effect. And essentially, my goal is to make a life size version because I need someone to perform with. I don't want them to be very tiny. They're, they're, they're just tiny ones. Let me know if you figure that one out. Um, the demo video I would have shown you actually had this specific model because this would be like the character image that I'll be using. Um, this model was made by and uh, written by people from DeviantArt, and the, the vocal community is a very big like, sharing community where people will create models and create dances. Unlike um, Maya or stuff like that, where like a lot of the file has the motions already pre-made, this specific uh, program is called MMD. And you can actually like separate them, the motions where it's like, let's say someone makes a dance for a song. And they say, you know what, I want to share this specific dance with other people. They'll share that dance. It's like, okay, now you can get your models that you've spent so much time making. And you can make a dance, the dance I made it. So we can all share in the happiness of this wonderful world. Um, <laughs> and if you look closely, like the whole vocalist, uh, it's a very bad picture, but this is one instance of there is a concert where there is a K-pop group that actually performed next to a Vocaloid. It wasn't that popular because Vocaloid is not very popular in Korea or in the United States, but it's still like a very nice dream that I want to accomplish by next semester. So that's the third one. The fourth one is going to be choreography over graphics. And I'll just let you guys see the video because it's essentially like this idea is what's in, what encompasses the entire idea. Now these are real people that are holograms. And that's the project. 